Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Mr. Go channel. Today we're gonna find out what is tone under social study. And if you look at the picture, there is Jenny from Blackpink and she's saying that she's playing with fire. Well, we'll find out what happened next. So let's go. Wait a minute, that's not the correct introduction. Let's try again. So welcome back to what is tone. We need to know what exactly is tone. And before we know that, we need to examine the definition. When we talk about tone, are we talking about, is it how you speak? And that's the question, is it? Is it too high, too low, too sharp, too flat? I don't know. Is it how you speak and the tone and people not liking your tone? Actually, when we talk about tone, we are talking about the author's attitude towards a certain subject. So let's take a look at characteristics of tone. The characteristics is that it's actually based on their language and the word choice. Rather than their status themselves, they do play a part, but that is not the main part. Rather, it's the language or the word choice. And from the word choice, it actually reveals his or her perspective or his attitude towards certain subject. And from there, you can actually postulate or guess that it is actually a positive or negative attitude towards the subject and it is this part that we are trying to examine which will help you for a social study because some of the higher level questions like comparison reliability and usefulness they actually require you to examine the tone for the higher level but this may not be applicable to every source so you need to use your discernment tone can be inferred from the words and we need to examine the words so some example of tone so in this context Next year, we are examining the HDB flats. HDB stands for Housing Development Board. And based on how the author articulates his or her opinion, we can examine what kind of tone the author might possibly have. So let's take a look at the first example. This place may be shabby, but since both of my children were born while we live here, it has a special place in my heart. Aww. So let's take a look. So in this case, we are talking about a sentimental tone because even though the place may be shabby, we are not actually looking down on it, but we are actually talking about special events that happen such as the author's children being born and it's having a special place in the author's heart. So the contrast there using the word but shows you that the second part is more important. Next, we take a look at the second sentence. This isn't the greatest flat in the world but it's not really that bad. You spot a word just now that I mentioned that you can actually use to find out whether what kind of tone it is. So let's take a look. It is actually a tolerant tone. Tolerant tone basically means that the person is able to tolerate tolerate the situation or circumstance. You see, just now the same word appear, but so the behind part, which is it's not really that bad, is actually more important than the front part. The person actually tolerate it not being the greatest flat. Next, we have if only there were some decent jobs out there, I wouldn't be reduced to living in this miserable dump. So what is the tone for this situation? Well, it is a bitter tone. You look at the word reduced to living in this miserable dump. The person feel very wretched or deep press or the person feel that he has no choice but to live in this place and to that person is considered a miserable dump wow so next this place does need some repairs but i'm sure the landlord will make some improvements sometime soon so what is the tone the tone is actually an optimistic tone. Same thing as before, we talk about the word but. Usually when we have a word but, the behind part is more important. Despite the place being a bit run down and perhaps in disrepair. So what we actually need is that the landlord will actually improve the situation soon. The person is actually looking for it. Whether the landlord actually does that, we are not sure. But the person is actually expecting it. So that part shows the optimism. Hence, optimistic tone. Last but not least, for the example, what is this tone? This is the flat we live in. It provides shelter. So the tone for this case is... Objective. The author actually states that the flat is the one that they are living in. So it is a fact and the fact that the flat provides shelter is true as well. So this is an objective tone. So let's take a look at example in a social study context. Before we actually start, we need to examine the issue. The issue actually showcase what you need to know about the source, which we will examine in a very short while. So the issue is, can the Lantau tomorrow region make Hong Kong house? Affordable. So it's about the housing issue, whether it's affordable for the people of Hong Kong. 
Let's take a look at our background information. This may be slightly long, but you need to know the background information before we examine the source. So let's take a look. Hong Kong housing is one of the most unaffordable in the world. Public housing is subsidized by the government in the form of land being sold cheaper to private developers with the understanding of increasing supply, leading to lower prices. The government also provides public infrastructure and low interest rate for potential homeowners. However, these housing subsidies are not allocated efficiently, as some of the public housings are occupied by people who can take care of their own housing needs. As many are unable to afford housing, they rent while waiting for the public housing to be made available by the government. Uh, the wait for public housing is on average about 5.5 years, which is extremely long Singapore. You would have finished your secondary school education by then. So land reclamation has been the main method used to meet increasing housing demands and the government has also increased the housing subsidies to improve housing affordability for the poor. Hong Kong Chief Executive Carrie Lam and her administrative hastily embarked on the ambitious Lan Tao Tomorrow Vision, which will add 1,000 700 hectares of land, about 3,100 football fields by creating a series of artificial islands near Lantau Island, where private land developers will build housing, of which 70% has been promised to be public housing. Studying the following sources to determine whether the Hong Kong government plan to make housing affordable is a good one. So let's take a look at the source. So source A is actually adapted from an article by a professor of housing and urban studies from the City University of Hong Kong. So this is by an academic, someone who has done research on the housing in Hong Kong. A most every Hong Kong citizen is caught in the housing shortage. The ambitious and high-priced Lantau Tomorrow Vision suggests ineffective use of the resources and seems to benefit property developers greatly. However, land reclamation at this scale may spell environmental disaster. More studies should be carried out to understand the effects of such a project. Critics increasingly point out the problem of ineffective land use and distribution. There are currently about 1,500 hectares of unused land, not far from the 1,007 hectares promise. If the ignorant individual leading the government can free up the unutilized land, there will be no need for large-scale big white elephant projects which only benefits the elected leaders. So let's examine the source itself. First, we need to look at the provenance. Provenance actually shows that the author is actually a professor of housing and urban studies from City University of Hong Kong. And there are actually a number of words that he used. We need to examine the language and the word choice rather than provenance. It will allow us to understand whether housing is affordable or unaffordable. So in this case, housing is definitely unaffordable because the government has not been doing a very good job of allocating the subsidies. So in this case, a most every Hong Kong season is caught. So when you use the word caught, it's talking about some sort of prey, which is usually denotes some sort of victim. So then we talk about ambitious and high price project. So this project itself, according to the author, is ineffective use of resources. Actually, they benefit property developers. So on one hand, we have the victims, which are Hong Kong seasons. On the other hand, we have the benefactors which are the property developers and also it is a form of environmental disaster according to the professor and they claim that they should do more studies there's also inefficient land use and distribution and they claim that our dear executive director is an ignorant individual and they are leading the government so and it only benefits the elected leader so on one hand we have people who benefited who are the elected leaders as well as the property developers on the other hand we have the victims which the Hong Kong seasons. So in this case, let's take a look at the term white elephant. So what is a white elephant? So white elephant, according to Cambridge Dictionary, show there's something that is expensive, which is a housing project. It costs a lot of money to keep in good condition. Uh, actually, it has no useful purpose and we don't really need it. Now, what is the tone for the source? Well, the source has something to do with the picture and there's some words that I can think of. The words are harsh, accusatory, and critical. In this case, the tone will really be a harsh kind of tone where they actually create Criticize and what would the tone paragraph actually look like? So if this is a reliability question, this would be the first sentence that I would be writing. The source is unreliable due to the tone. And in this case, it would probably be one of the higher marks if this is the question. So the source actually comes from an academic expert whose response is harsh and critical of the project. So the harsh and critical showcase the tone. So you can't just say tone without telling me what is the tone. That would be the tone. And the article actually hints of grievances rather than a discussion grounded in rational and academic research. So you can hardly see any statistics. They only mentioned that critics actually mentioned this. So how do you know that they're harsh and critical because they are actually mentioned of the grievances and some of the criticism, which I call it then inference. Then later, we need to bring in the evidence. Remember, we talk about the language and the word choices. So in source A, it actually states that ignorant individual leading the government. And 
the scientists also claim that there will be no need for large-scale big white elephant projects which seems only to benefit the elected leaders. So there are actually two different pieces of evidence which you need to quote to showcase that there are actually a number of word choices that the author used which are quite critical of the government and that will be your evidence. And next, we talk about the link and as well the explanation. This seems to suggest that the professor is personally upset over the decision to actually use the new place which is the 1,700 hectares of land for the Landau tomorrow revision and hence this reduced the reliability of this response. Hence, the source is unreliable and this will be your explanation as well as the link. Well, this is the end of the tome. I hope you learned something and if you like it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and that's all.